So uh, let us see an example of a tangent bundle. So let's see the annex in the construction of the tangent bundle in. So let's construct the tangent bundle of S one. So recall that we constructed. S1 by gluing two copies of R along R minus U. So more precisely, we let U1 be the set R, and this also equal to U2, and U12 inside U1 is defined to be r minus 0 similarly u2 1 inside u2 is defined to be r minus 0 and phi 1 2 from u1 2 to u2 1 is given by t maps to 1 upon t so let us use the coordinate s sorry t on u1 t on u12 and s on u21 so uh, the tangent bundle of u1 of u1 is identified with u u1 cross r and similarly the tangent bundle of u2 is identified with u2 cross r so uh, so under this identification so the map from u1 cross r to disjoint union p in u1 tp s1 uh, is given by p comma v maps to uh, the tangent T at P. So similarly in U2 the path from so here uh, let's say Q comma W is identified with T by D S at Q. So we have Let's say this is our u1, this is 0, and we have u1 cross r. And here I have u2, this is 0, and here I have u2 cross r. Now at a point t naught, so Let us take the tangent vector d by dt at a point t naught where t naught belongs to u12. So uh, what is the tangent vector? Over tangent vector at one upon t naught inside u two one to which this should be identified. So 
So for this, so this means that we have to write t by dt at t naught in terms of the coordinate s. But then we know that uh, d by dt, since Since s is equal to 1 upon t, we have t by dt is equal to minus s square t by ds. So this implies that the tangent vector d by dt at t naught should be identified with minus 1 upon t naught square t by ds at let's say s naught where s0 is equal to 1 upon t0. And this is exactly what uh, the computation of d phi does. So uh, remember t phi 1 2 at t of t by dt at t0. We wrote this as is some lambda times t by ds at s naught and to compute lambda we just applied both sides on s and from that we will get that lambda is equal to t phi 1 2 by dt at t naught this is equal to minus 1 upon t naught square sorry uh, so uh, this implies uh, the point so this implies the identification map phi 1 2 tilde from u 1 2 cross r to u 2 1 cross r is given by t comma v maps to 1 upon t naught comma minus upon t naught square so let me use the notation lambda uh, sorry lambda uh, so the map phi 1 2 tilde is smooth is clear uh, sorry this should be t naught t not t naught is clear since t is not equal to zero so smooth smooth function of t and lambda So, uh, so this explains the construction of the tangent bundle of S1. So now let's come to a slightly more general, general construction. So the 
So this is vector bundles. The construction of the tangent bundle uh, can be generalized as follows. Suppose we are given a manifold X and an open covering X equal to union UIs and maps phi IJ from UI intersection UJ to GLNR such that phi IJ X very smoothly with X and such that on ui intersection uj intersection uk we have phi j phi j k x multiplied with the, this matrix multiplication inside glnr phi i j x is equal to phi i k x and phi i i x is equal to identity then we may construct a space E by gluing UI cross RN uh, using phi j tilde. So we glue UI cross RN along UIJs cross RN. So uij is simply ui intersection uj cross rn x comma v maps to x comma phi ij of x applied to v. So since the phi IJs are smooth, are smooth, this implies phi IJ tilde is a smooth map. Uh, there is also a commutative diagram. Uij cross Rn phi Ij tilde Uij cross Rn. This is the projections to Uij. This implies the space E is a smooth manifold. along with 
uh, map pi from e to x. That pi is smooth. Can be checked. Uh, locally on the base this was an earlier lemma which was left as an exercise okay earlier lemma in the end of lecture 2 And over UIs, since pi is just the projection, the projection, this implies pi is smooth. So the space E. is called a vector bundle over x. So uh, there's a reason why this is called a vector bundle and that's because the fibers of E carry a vector space structure. So let's just explain this uh, in a slightly more general situation. So uh, suppose suppose u and v are two open sets in x. Let f be a space. with a certain structure for example f could be an abelian group or an inner product space or uh, let's say before in, or a real or complex vector space or an inner product space or any such structure and suppose we take uh, sets u cross f and v cross f and uh, glue them along using glue them along, glue them on. The open set u intersection v cross f using the identification using an identification or using a map or using the let's say using the transition functions transition maps phi so phi is a map from u intersection v to automorphisms of f so this automorphism preserves the structure structure 
So for example, if F is an abelian group, then phi uh, is just going to be an automorphism of abelian groups. If F is a vector real vector space, then it will be into GLN R, where N is the dimension of the vector, real vector space. If it's a complex vector space, then it will be into GLN C, and so on. Uh, so the the gluing is done using x comma f maps to x comma phi of x of f. Okay, so uh, yeah, so in terms of a picture, here I have u, and here I have v. Here's my u intersection v. Here's my u intersection v inside v. This is my u v, and here I have these fibers f. And here are these fibers F. And over a point here, suppose this is the fiber. This fiber is being glued to this fiber here. So, uh, so, so if this is the point X, then these two are being glued using phi of X. So since the map, So since the map phi of x from f to f preserves the structure that f has, then clearly The glued space call it Y it comes with a map Y to U cross V and the fibers of this map carry the same structure. Okay. So we can apply this. This discussion. the vector bundle e to x and to c that each fiber carries a vector space structure. So in particular, in each fiber, there is a unique point which corresponds to to zero. So this defines a map which we call the zero section. That's that. I compose as zero is the identity on X. That S zero is a smooth map uh, 
can be checked locally. But then, but to do this, so uh, so we restrict. Our cells, uh, we restrict uh, to the open set UI cross RN inside E and here. Uh, so, notice that. S0 inverse of UI cross RN is simply equal to UI and the map S0 is just when we write like this is just X goes to X comma 0 which is clearly smooth. So given a vector bundle E, to X, say which is constructed using transition functions phi ij from uij to glnr we may construct other vector bundles. As follows. A. So it is easy to check. It is easy to check. That the functions x maps to phi i j x transpose inverse are also also satisfy our smooth functions are smooth and satisfy the cocycle condition So this implies we get a vector bundle which we denote by E dual. Similarly, uh, the function X maps to determinant in GL one R also satisfy the cosecycle condition. And the resulting vector bundle is called is denoted by the determinant bundle of E. So suppose we are given a manifold A 
manifold X. Uh, then the dual bundle, uh, the dual of the tangent bundle. of the tangent bundle also has a geometric significance which we now describe So first, sorry. Uh, so first, we will use germs of functions to define. elements in TPX dual in this vector space. So let F be the germ of a smooth function at P define Tf at P, there is a map from Tpx to R, and this is defined by Tf at P of V is defined to be P of F. So it is easy to check. That Tf at P is a linear map. And the claim we want to make every element in the dual TPX dual can be written as as df at p for some smooth function function so for some smooth function f defined in a neighborhood of p so to see this choose a coordinate neighborhood around coordinate chart u comma x1 up to xn around p So the basis, so a basis for TPX is given by uh, D by DXI at P. So uh, by inspection, we get that. Then we check dxi at p. So the xi's are functions, smooth functions in the neighborhood of p. So when I apply dxi at p to d by dxj at p, we know that we get delta ij. So this is 
so this proves that this implies txi at p is the basis dual to t by dxi at p. So in particular, uh, so since lambda tf at p plus mu dg at p is equal to t of lambda f plus mu g at p where lambda and mu are constants so from this the claim is proved the claim is now trivially proved Uh, in fact, in fact, we have just shown every tangent vector, every cotangent vector, is of the form d of summation lambda i x i at p. So every cotangent vector at P is of this form. So uh, given a smooth, so this also raises the natural question. So given a smooth function, F in a neighborhood of P, we may ask what is tf at p in terms of txi at p so this is the same uh, idea as uh, something we have seen before so we write let df by p we write it as summation lambda i dxi at p and uh, we ev to evaluate lambda i apply both sides to d by dx j at p so this implies we get lambda j is equal to df by dxj so this implies that df at p summation uh, df by dxi at p times dxi Okay, so uh, suppose phi from x to y is a smooth map. Then recall that we defined T phi at P from T B X to T B Y. So taking taking dual, we get maps t phi p sorry t phi at p dual from t p y dual to t p x dual 
sorry this is d5p so let us take a coordinate chart or coordinate charts uh, v y1 yn around 5p and u x1 up to x so let's say this is y1 up to ym and xn around p so uh, we know uh, so we know we computed the matrix for so before before that so this implies get basis for dbx namely d by dx i at p and also get basis for t5 py namely d by d by j and in this basis uh, d5 at p was equal to d5 j by dx i at p so uh, uh, we know this trivial fact from linear algebra that uh, if w1 and w2 are two vector spaces and we fix a basis basis for each basis for both so let a denote the matrix of a linear map from w1 to w2 then in the dual basis uh, the matrix for the dual map w2 dual to w1 dual is given by a transpose so this implies so when we apply this to our situation this implies that d5 at p the the dual map is is simply the matrix for the dual map is simply a matrix in the basis d y j at p and d x i i'm sorry d y j at 5 p and d x i at p is simply the matrix d phi at p or d phi at p time the and the transpose of that and i leave this as a simple exercise suppose we have smooth maps uh, our smooth maps then t of psi compose phi at p the dual is simply d phi at p composed with d psi at 5 p uh, so this follows 
by applying chain rule. and taking QA. So here is an exercise, very similar to an exercise which was given earlier. Let phi from x to y be a diffeomorphism. Show that. T phi restricted to P, the dual and inverse from T P x dual to T phi P y dual is an isomorphism. Well, I mean, it essentially boils down to showing that d phi distributed p dual is an isomorphism. So, as we constructed the tangent model, we can construct the cotangent model. So, now, so uh, let us construct the cotangent model. So if ui x1 up to xn is a coordinate chart, Uh, then uh, the space of all cotangent vectors is identified for different points in UI is identified. This is very similar to the construction of the tangent model UI cross Rn, the identification. being given by p comma lambda is sent to summation lambda dxi at p. So uh, since phi i j is from u j i U I I'm sorry, phi i j is from U i j to U j i is a diffeomorphism. Using the exercise, using the above exercise, we see that. the map phi ij tilde from uij cross rn to uji cross rn this is defined by p comma alpha maps to phi i j of p comma t phi i j at p dual inverse of that applied on alpha so we see that this map is smooth So, uh, and as before, so as before, as in the case of the tangent bundle, uh, 
uh, we can check easily that phi i j tilde satisfy the co-cycle condition. Thus, we get a smooth manifold. by gluing ui cross rn along uij cross rn using phi ij tilde so denote this manifold by omega x and we get a smooth map omega x to x. So this is the same discussion as before. So, uh, okay, so claim the bundle omega x to x and dx to x are dual to each other. Uh, but this is clear, so this is clear using the description of the transition functions. So because on the, for the tangent bundle, if the transition functions Uh, let me phrase it like this. For the tangent bundle, we took open sets, open sets, ui cross rn, where ui containing x is open, and uh, glued them using transition functions psi ij's from ui intersection uj to glnr and the transition functions for the cotangent model Uh, we took the same same ui cross rn but glued them using psi ij dual inverse Okay, so we will end here.